and welcome back to Terry's Cookbook. These are my hands. My name is Terry Searcy. I was out pulling weeds today and didn't feel compelled to uh, have to put myself on the video. Uh, I wanted to show you my version of uh, fingers and mash with bubbles and sweet. It's an English dish, and I know that some of you might be of English uh, descent. This is my version because remember, we're on lockdown. So, these are my bangers. These are some broths. If you're a vegan, they sell vegan broths. And I am browning these in my pan. You don't need to add any oil. They're pretty greasy as they are. And this is my bubbles and squeak. So what is that? Uh, usually the squeak is cabbage. I had a little bit of Brussels sprouts left, so I went ahead and tore them apart. I have some onion. Uh, this is my, so this is the squeak. This is my bubbles, which is some carrots, and this is my mash. They didn't have any potatoes uh, at the grocery store, but they had this mixture that you buy, uh, usually in the deli section. That's where I found this, uh, of potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take out just a little bit of this grease from the brats and just soak up a little bit. But in here is where I'm going to saute my vegetables. This is a one pan kind of deal here. You do it all in one pan. So I'm soaking some of this up. And I'm going to throw in my onions first. I'm going to saute those up a little bit before I start throwing in my cabbage. If you don't have, it's okay that a carrot got in there. If you don't have um, loose cabbage, I know that it was recently St. Patty's Day. Some of you might have some sauerkraut. You can do this dish with sauerkraut. So I'm just sauteing this. I'm not adding salt and pepper because the brats already have a lot of salt and pepper. We've been staying in a little bit more, and especially because of the weather here in California. I just want to make sure that uh, my boys aren't getting overloaded with sodium. If you feel that you need to add some, you go right ahead and do that. If you like the way this dish comes out, it is a really fun dish to do. Uh, you can look it up later on. Recipes, fingers and mash with bubbles and squeak. Like I said, this is my version. So once they're a little on the sautéed section, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this in. Now my brats are not completely cooked. So right now I have my oven. It's preheating at 375. As you can see, it's still preheating. And this is going to go all in one one pan. If you have a cast iron skillet grade, as long as you don't put your pan in that has a rubber a rubber handle. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and throw my carrots in there. I'm going to saute it up just a little bit longer. Maybe about uh, five more minutes of sauteing. About five minutes has passed, so you can see. You don't have to cook the carrots really well because we are going to put this in the oven. So right now, I'm going to take those pre-made potatoes from the grocery store that I found. And now, if you had some sauerkraut, you would, oops, you would go ahead and uh, saute your onions, do your carrots, 
and then put your sauerkraut on top since your sauerkraut has already been um, pickled. It doesn't you don't need to recook it up in here in the pan. So I'm just putting this on top, covering it up. It is a nice kind of warm, yummy dish, especially during the the winter time to have. You usually serve this with well, you can serve it with mustard if you want. You can leave it the way it is. So I just cover this up with the potatoes. If I find potatoes in the store, that'll be great. If you have box potatoes, use those. If you want to use cauliflower mashed potatoes, use that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place these brats. Remember I told you they're not 100% cooked. I just browned them on all sides. Okay, and now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm going to check it to see how the brats are doing. They should be cooked by then. So I'm going to throw this in the oven 20 minutes. If you don't want to splatter your oven, you can go ahead and cover it with a lid if you have it. Uh, if not, you can just throw it in the way it is. Okay, so this is about 25 minutes. I left it in the oven and I checked it just to make sure that my brats were cooked. So it is done. And let me go ahead and scoop this out. So now they're gonna have some vegetables and the potatoes. I'm gonna put the banger right on top. And that's my meal for today. So bubbles and squeak with bangers and mash. I hope you enjoyed this quick recipe.